Primo's Honey, stream the language. I'm Will Primo. I'm going to talk about turkey calls, specifically the slate call, or pot call as many people call it. Where did pot call come from? Well, many, many years ago, what all us turkey call makers did, we took a flower pot because it was the quickest already molded piece of plastic and we would cut it off right about there and mount a piece of slate or glass or some other material that would cause friction between a striker and the surface. And that's what we ended up nicknaming it a pot call. I still call them mainly slate calls, no matter whether it has glass in it or crystal or some other type of ceramic to make the two surfaces be abrasive to each other. But the, the slate call uh, is a wonderful instrument. The big downside is once you call up that turkey, you got to get rid of the striker and the slate and be able to get your hands on your gun and get it on the turkey. So a lot of people start off with a slate and finish with a mouth call. But at any rate, you simply are trying to make this surface make noise with a striker. And the angle is what's so important. So if you straight up and down, no sound. But watch as I tilt it. As I tilt it and move it into a J, set, J shape or an egg shape, never picking it up. It's a lot more to it, but that's just, just, just so you'll know what you're looking at. Slate call and a striker.